Salut survivors! Welcome back to Solo Toadcast channel. In a recent video, I introduced my innovative automated hold base concept with red and yellow tunnels, the pendulum. For more details on the pendulum mechanics, go check out the link in below description. After the pendulum got challenged to withstand against demolishers, some of our subscribers took interest as how the pendulum will perform against spitting vultures. So today's video is about the pendulum versus spitting vultures. I was planning on releasing a video on starter base design, but that's postponed for now to make way for today's experiment. Moreover, I received requests to release a video on how to build the pendulum, but I would ideally like to optimize and test it more first. So please comment on what you want to see tested so we can together further improve the pendulum. If you are a first timer on my channel, please subscribe now for more great videos. In this video, I will first briefly show what is our defense against vultures, then share my concerns about spitting vultures before testing it. Now, let's get started. In the pendulum, as previously presented, we have four turrets at the end of the red and yellow tunnels, just before the stair. Now, if you want to see the cones, here it is. So to properly fight against the vultures and be protected by the turrets, it should be formed somewhere here in the middle. Now, what I think is one weakness against pitting vultures are these four switches here. These four switches are not extremely critical, but anyway, enough talks. That was the uh, defense we have against vultures. Aside from ourselves, of course. And uh, what I think are the risks to be exposed against spitting vultures. So now, let's get started. Vultures. This one. Okay, let's try with 10. Uh-huh. I think I should definitely have more turrets because they are flying above. They are not spitting. Did I spawn radiated ones? Is he spitting? Why isn't he spitting? Maybe we need more. Well, anyway, so far, they are not spitting on the switches, which was my fear. They are not spitting on anything. To test properly, we would need to uh, go in a whole night, I guess. Now, <laughs> now we have a lot of vultures just roaming around our heads. Well, I suggest we move into a whole night. Okay. Whole night time. Okay, now they're coming. Good. That's what they needed. So, to be protected, you need to come close to the turrets, which is kind of tricky, and you need it. That's actually... Okay. Let's close that. Okay, door closed, they are all in red. Oh, there is one last vulture, but he's not spitting. I guess uh, they don't have time to speed. Now that we are in the middle of the, I mean the middle, during the night, let's uh, spawn some vultures. Okay, a small dozen. Okay, now they are spitting. Good. So, as I was replying to one of the comments on the uh, on the channel, you can see the spit is very uh, not doing much damage to the glass. That's a big advantage of the reinforced glass. Okay. Good. They reach the end here, and they are going to alternate red to yellow, yellow to red. I mean the 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 usual. Uh, 
pendulum defense. The goal was to test again the vultures and uh, all radiated vultures are dead. Still nonetheless they have spit at the start of the night so they could be spitting on these four switches and this is uh, the, the danger. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, test against the spitting vultures. Uh, ultimately, they behaved more or less the same as regular vultures, uh, unfortunately. But that was a good test on uh, how to improve uh, the pendulum for further uh, design improvement and optimization. Uh, should you have liked this video, uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more great videos. And uh, until next time, have a good day. Cheers.